It's actually the middle of the day, but I have a lot of bees. Bees? Going on, like a lot of wasps and stuff, so. Decided to light the fire and uh, get some smoke going just because the wasps were actually getting really aggressive and one actually landed on me. So, that usually helps. Buenos dias amigos, I'm Sean. And that's Astrid. And we did it. We sold everything, traded our hectic New York City lifestyle for a more beachy existence here in Mexico. Along with our two cats, Sanderson and Indo, this is Sean in Paradise. Just getting up, and you gotta hear this noise. Hi, Indo. Listen. So I'm having a chill Sunday. <clears throat> Astrid's cleavering. So tell me about this knife you're using. Is this, this is a new knife? This is a new knife. It's cleaver. A meat cleaver. Does a cleaver, a proper cleaver, make it actually easier? Yes, it does. And kids, always keep your hands away from it. Alright, you're aggro. I'm gonna go cut plants. <laughs> I'm not aggro, that's just what the drop you on. But I'm gonna go cut plants nevertheless. I love you. I love you. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some, some trimming done. I've got a hibiscus plant that's like a little out of control. Shape it, give it a little cut. CNY FSC. Yeah, they're coming soon. I'm super excited to see my sister, brother-in-law, my nephew and his girl. Uh, it's gonna be a really good time. So this is the hibiscus that's too tall up here. Yeah, I'm just gonna like cut it down, shape it. I wanna give this little, um, the starfruit tree a little bit of breathing room. And then there's a papaya tree back in there that you can kind of see that also needs like a little more sun. But yeah, gonna clean this up and just make it like a little bit nicer up high. It's dope that the vegetation, the trees, the palms are all getting like higher and now you can like walk through shady spots and actually like completely hidden from the sun spots which is nice. Uh, it's cool having all these like pockets of shade, bright areas and trees that you can walk under now so that's a fruit tree that I can actually walk under. Couldn't do that last year. <laughs> Not the lime tree yet although the lime tree has so many flowers and here's the avocado tree and the avocado tree I guess we're like getting barreled under it. Goofy foot. Yeah but it's still growing. These are like the the gardening pruning shears that we usually use. They're by a company called Trooper. It's really big down here. They're great. Like when they're sharp, they feel they feel really good. You know, they're nice, they're reliable, uh, especially these ones with the springs. But Astrid's father sent these Luva ones from Germany. Made in Germany since 1923. Oh, look at that. This, you buy that, you get that, you get that, you switch it around. And like, it's like a, it's like a portion. <laughs> like legit, like pretty good Toyota. But like a really nice Porsche. That's the black-throated magpie jay. It's local to this part of Mexico and it's totally prehistoric. Oh. Still sneezing. <laughs> You're so crazy. You're the craziest. Sundays in the yard are like, it's absolutely my favorite situation. Listen to some podcasts, little bet sex and money. I mean, it doesn't get much better. Cats are running around, Astrid's in the house doing her thing. It's cool.
Say it again. Crop taco to share. Two barracuda. Special shrimp taco. This one's mine. Okay, this is my Solo Shot 65. It's a new action sports camera that's gonna follow me as I surf. But that's only if it's calibrated properly while having a strong GPS signal, and only if I don't lose this armband Velcro thingy. There was definitely a lot of user error, but when it was locked in like this, it was locked in. But when it wasn't locked in like this, and this, and it couldn't find me here, but I was back there, and then I was kind of over here, but then I was there, but then I was giving them directions, and then I was back out here. Even with all that, the AI is still amazing. While it's not Astrid with her camera shooting me, it's still pretty remarkable. And the one thing I was really nervous about was not getting enough B-roll, like the stuff that Astrid shoots when I'm not surfing, but as you can see here, somehow the camera finds a way to mess up and do it for me. Pacho has been doing much better. He's actually feeling healthy and getting some house privileges. It's been so, so very dry, but all the little things are still waking up. Super wild, the jungle road is getting paved over and it's like, ooh, it's a trip, man. It's the jungle road. How's it gonna be cobbled? Man, I'll tell you what, Joni Mitchell said it and she was entirely right. Pave paradise and put up a parking lot. This was just a super special night. My nephew John is in town with his girlfriend Allie. That's Allie right there on the ring. And she was just doing a show for us for the sunset and we were laughing and singing and dancing and talking and can't think of a better way to end a night or a vlog in San Pancho.